Here we have a lovely looking 2007 Fiat 500 lounge with the R bath body kit and exhaust. So it does look like a bath. Very nice looking vehicle, and it's also in very nice condition as well, as you'll see later on in the video. But if we start with the offside front tyre, now it's pretty much a brand new tyre. You've got around five to six mil of tread, as you can see. So plenty of meat left on the tyre. Now looking at the offside front alloy, you've got these nice polished effect finish. Uh, unfortunately, you've got some large scuffs to the alloy, so it's definitely going to require a refurb. You can see it's had the uh, the um, pads there all sprayed red as well to give it a little bit more of a sporty effect. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, um, very clean to be fair, no signs of any dinks, any dents or any damage at all, which is great. And the nice chrome mirror caps here, great condition there. Looking at the driver's door itself, very clean indeed. A few little marks here and there, just require some touchings of paint. A few little marks you expect really here and there. Uh, you've got two quite large scratches towards the offside rear, um, but because of the car it's sort of a flat sort of blue colour, um, they are quite hard to see after put them in the light, we can see a large scratch there and then another one just in front of it, so quite two large scratches there, not very deep though, um, so it shouldn't be too hard to get out, although I can get my nail into that slightly. Looking at the door edge on the driver's door, just requires some little touchings here and there, this is a few little marks, but again a very clean looking car. Taking a look at the roof, you get this nice panoramic glass, which is a nice option. And you can see it's also been wrapped in this sort of carbon fibre effect on the boot spoiler and on the boot here. Very nice finish and it looks very well as well, adding to that sporty aspect of the vehicle. Moving around to the offside rear tyre. Again, brand new tyre pretty much, so you've got around 5 to 6 mil of tread there. And then looking at the offside rear alloy, again we have got some little scuffs. Very minor, but again, I would give, the, give it a refurb just to get them looking spotless. So a few little minor scuffs here and there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. See so it looks very smart. Got that a bath badge there. With the body kit and also the exhausts and the rear diffuser there. So it does look very nice. But onto the condition of the back. Again very clean, no signs of any dinks or any dents at all to the back. You've got your rear parking sensors there. A couple of light little scratches to the back of the boot lid here that just require a bit of a polish. But as you can see, it's got a few little marks here and there that just need a bit of attention, but no damage at all. Taking a look in the boot, nice and clean in the back of the vehicle here. As you can see, you've got your parcel, shelf, etc. And taking a look in the, if we just lift this up, you can see you do get your spare wheel and all your bits and pieces as well, so that's great. Nice condition there. Moving around to the near side, lovely looking little car. Offside rear tyre again, you're looking at around 5 to 6 mil of tread. Unfortunately, a lot of curbing to the near side rear alloy. As you can see, it's definitely going to need a refurb. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, again, very clean, no signs of any dinks or any dents at all. Uh, you have got some large scratches um, to the back of the near side rear arch here, as you can see. Took the paint off, and uh, yes, they are quite heavy and quite deep, so do beware of these scratches here. Door edge on the front passenger door spotless, with no signs of any scuffs there. And again, we've got a few light scratches here and there that just require a bit of a polish, as you can see, just under the passenger door there, a few little marks. Again, nice finish to the chrome mirror cap, nice and clean. And a lovely bit of tread there with around 6mm. So all four tyres are pretty much brand new. And again, it is going to need a refurb on the alloys here. Someone's had a good wrestle with the kerb. So it's four wheel refurbs. <coughs> Sorry about that. Moving around to the front of the vehicle. Again, all the bath body kit here. Got your daytime running lights as well. Looking on the bonnet, very clean. No signs of any stone chips at all. And again, a very nice condition to the front of the car, very clean. Now I do have to say, um, it is a Category D vehicle, so it has had damage that has been repaired. But just be aware that it is a Cat D, so it's a Cat D vehicle. But as you've seen, it's in great condition, and it's obviously been repaired very well. Taking a look inside the vehicle now, you've got the nice sort of uh, cream piped with the cloth here. 
is a little bit dirty, um, but it is just the look of the of the cloth. To be fair, it's a bit dirty, no damage, no rips or tears, so not bad condition there. And the same with the rear passenger seats as well. As you can see there, you have got a few little stains and marks to the cloth. But with a real good valet, it should fetch them out, as there's no damage, no rips or tears. Right, step inside the car, I can show you the mileage, etc. Now if we just get the car, car door shut. Well, as you can see, it's a nice baby blue sort of finish inside as well, with all the cream as well, so... Very nice looking car. Um, you do get only one key with the vehicle, which is a bit of a shame. And if we get the car started up... As you can see, no problem at all starting the vehicle, starts first time. Very low mileage as well, 30,751. And no symbols appearing on the dash that you to be aware of. And look at the steering wheel, you can see it's got a bit of a crease there in the leather. Um, so, a bit of a shame about that there. Again, not too big of a job to fix. Multifunction steering wheel though, and it does work perfectly fine. As you can see, you've got um, As you can see, you've got your voice command there. We don't want that on. Uh, you got your CD, radio, everything functions exactly how it should, and it works very well. Please make a selection. To know the commands available, you can say help at any time. So as you can see, the voice activating is a bit, a bit of a pain. But it does work perfectly fine. Looking here, you can see you've got your air conditioning. Light indicating there it's on and off. No problems at all with any of the blowers. Everything functions exactly how it should, as you can see. No problems at all there. All your windows work fine. Manual transmission. And you've also got your panoramic roof there as well. Which this just folds back and forth. So no problems there. Looking at the documents now. Look at the V5, the car's had five owners, believe it or not, so five owners. MOT certificate, February 19th, 2014, so not long left on the MOT for the vehicle. And we do get full non-franchise service history, with two stamps here, one at 15 and one at 30. You can see there, plenty of service history on the vehicle. But there we go guys, that is the 2007 Fiat 500 Lounge. Um, with the Arbath kit and the exhaust as well. So, and it's a very nice looking car to be fair. It's also in nice condition for its age. It just needs a bit of a refurb on the alloys. But you've got loads of tread on the tyres. And it goes straight onto your pitch. Very nice car.